Some undifference identities come in handy when we're trying to find exact values for trig functions of angles. The sum and difference identities are often used with the angles of special triangles, 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90, to find exact answers. We'll review how we get exact values for trig functions of 45 degrees, 30 degrees, and 60 degrees using these triangles. Using the 45 45 triangle, we get the exact sine, cosine, and tangent of 45 degrees. See how each of these are obtained from the diagram. Using the 30 60 90 triangle, we get the exact sine, cosine, and tangent of 30 degrees. See how each of these are obtained from the diagram. And we can get the exact sine, cosine, and tangent of 60 degrees. Again, see how each of these are obtained from the diagram. Exact values of trig functions for 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and 270 degrees can be obtained using a unit circle, as shown here. These can be determined using the x and y coordinates and knowing that the radius of the circle is 1. This table summarizes the exact sine, cosine, and tangent for all seven angles. Although it's best to remember all these, printing this table out will give you a quick reference that you can check. It's useful to remember that when using reference angles, sine, cosine, and tangent, are all positive in quadrant 1. In quadrant 2, the sine is positive while the cosine and tangent are negative. In quadrant 3, the tangent is positive while the sine and cosine are negative. And in quadrant 4, the cosine is positive while the sine and tangent are negative. At this point, it's good to review other angles with a reference angle of 45 degrees that have exact values. These include 135 degrees, 225 degrees, and 315 degrees. Using the values of trig functions for 45 degrees and knowing the signs of sine, cosine, and tangent in each quadrant will help you remember these. It's also good to review other angles with a reference angle of 30 degrees that have exact values. These include 150 degrees, 210 degrees, and 330 degrees. Using the values of trig functions for 30 degrees and knowing the signs of sine, cosine, and tangent in each quadrant will help you remember these. Here are other angles with a reference angle of 60 degrees that have exact values. These include 120 degrees, 240 degrees, and 300 degrees. Using the values of trig functions for 60 degrees and knowing the signs of sine, cosine, and tangent in each quadrant will help you remember these. Let's do an example of how we can use sum and difference identities to find exact values of angles. Here we're asked to find the exact value of the sine of 75 degrees. The sine of 75 degrees is not one of the exact values we know already. We do know the exact values for sine 45 degrees and sine 30 degrees, and we know that 75 equals 45 plus 30. So we'll find the sine of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. Using the identity sine alpha plus beta equals sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta, we can write sine 45 cos 30 plus cos 45 sine 30. The sine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2, and the cos of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2. The cos of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2, and the sine of 30 is 1 half. So we're left with this. Doing the multiplications in each term gives us root 2 times root 3 over 4 plus root 2 over 4. This simplifies to root 6 plus root 2 over 4. So we can state that the exact sine of 75 degrees is root 6 plus root 2 all over 4. If you like, you can verify this with a calculator. Let's do another example. We're asked to find the exact value of the cosine of 15 degrees. We know that 60 minus 45 equals 15, so we can change cos 15 degrees 
to the cos of 60 degrees minus 45 degrees. We'll use the identity cos alpha minus beta equals cos alpha cos beta plus sine alpha sine beta to give us cos 60 cos 45 plus sine 60 sine 45. Cos 60 equals 1 half and cos 45 equals root 2 over 2. The sine of 60 equals root 3 over 2 and the sine of 45 equals root 2 over 2. So we have this expression. Doing the multiplications in each term gives us root 2 over 4 plus root 6 over 4. This simplifies to root 2 plus root 6 all over 4. So we can state that the cosine of 15 degrees is equal to root 2 plus root 6 all over 4. You can verify this with a calculator if you like. Let's do another example. We're asked to find the tangent of 195 degrees. 195 is the same as 225 minus 30. We know the exact values for the tangent of 225 degrees and the tangent of 30 degrees. We'll use the identity tan alpha minus beta equals tan alpha minus tan beta over 1 plus tan alpha tan beta to give us tan 225 minus tan 30 all over 1 plus tan 225 tan 30. Tan 225 is the same as the tangent of 45 in quadrant 3, where the tangent is positive. So tan 225 is equal to 1. We also know that tan 30 equals root 3 over 3, so these two values can be inserted into the expression. The denominator can be simplified to 1 plus root 3 over 3. 1 is the same as 3 over 3, so 1 minus root 3 over 3 is the same as 3 minus root 3 all over 3. And 1 plus root 3 over 3 is the same as 3 plus root 3 all over 3. We'll continue our solution up here. Dividing by 3 plus root 3 over 3 is the same as multiplying by 3 over 3 plus root 3. Canceling the 3's gives us 3 minus root 3 over 3 plus root 3. We'll multiply both the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, 3 minus root 3. Carrying out the multiplications in the numerator and denominator gives us 9 minus 6 root 3 plus 3 for the numerator and 9 minus 3 for the denominator. This comes out to 12 minus 6 root 3, all over 6, which can be simplified to 2 minus root 3. So we can state that the exact value for the tangent of 195 degrees is 2 minus root 3. This can be verified using a calculator. Some questions are stated in a different way than the other examples we looked at. In this question, we're given the expression cos 295 cos 20 minus sine 295 sine 20, and we're asked to find the exact value. We're starting with this expression. We see that this is written in the form cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta, where alpha is 295 degrees and beta is 20 degrees. Looking through the sum and difference identities, we'll recognize this as the identity for cos of alpha plus beta. So the expression is equal to the cosine of 295 degrees plus 20 degrees, which is the cosine of 315 degrees. 315 degrees has a reference angle of 45 degrees, and it's in quadrant 4 where the cosine is positive. So cosine 315 degrees is equal to cosine 45 degrees. And the cosine of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. So the exact value of the given expression is root 2 over 2. And we use the sum identity cos alpha plus beta equals cos alpha cos beta minus sine alpha sine beta to get this answer.